Okay, being on black folks, and pretty much we will stay glued in on this one shot, pretty much. And we'll get rid of the magnifier knot that uh, Scatter is watching. So that's fine. Big Brother's keeping an eye on Bino. Ain't doing nothing wrong, am I? Not doing anything illegal. Pictures that are already out there that everybody knows about that are there. Okay. So there's Sun. There's Jupiter. There's these Sun Dogs that we end up getting that are huge. Okay. Down here on Earth, that energy ends up blinging the Sun. And there's the super giants in a line out there. Okay. Because all the stars are in a line. I.e., I'll put the Hubble eyeball and, and look down the Hubble eye, eye, and you'll see that the daisy chain that we know that actually exists out there in space. Okay, what we're going to do is glue in on the planet that keeps on getting covered up by the gigantic objects in space. The meatball, at least one of them, you don't miss that there. No matter what, it's there, and no matter what, that's not the meatball, okay, folks? What that is, is the actual shadow of Rigel, okay? Should be, I'll have that nailed down for you, which one it is, whether it's A or B. I think it's probably B, okay? But that is the shadow, the outside umbra illumination coming off, the, coming off it, which is huge, okay? And then also you end up with, you know, that there's planetoid objects because they get caught in and they're all in alignment out there. So, yes, the sun is a dead star. I mean, the earth is a dead star, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me on that. Okay. The earth is a dead star. Okay. And it's down and rotates around the sun, which is there. So, basically, we're going to we can go ahead and we'll go to 400. Scoot over there. It's Jupiter over there. The biggest thing we know that's in our solar system, which it's just because it's the sun. But that solar magnetical is tied to many stars, okay? And the biggest one ruling near us is Rigel. A or B, it doesn't really matter at this point in time, but that's what we're gluing in on. Now, that actually could be remnants, but then again, it could be a couple of the sun spots on Feigl A or B, and I'll have a map here in a minute too, I'll pop over to that, then we'll actually know by looking at it and so forth and so on. But what we're going to do is, this is an actual photo, as you can see, that basically another star way out there, another star way up there, and we'll be able to blow, blow in on here. And what we're going to do is, we're going to get on, on the planetoid object that's hidden there, we'll get up and we'll customize it to $9.99, and yes, there, finally, my F11 kicks in because SCAT has been in looking at what I'm looking at. It's actual factual, folks. The stuff can't hide anymore. This photos and data are out there. You can get them. Okay. Now, stars glimmer down on its luminosity, which basically is its plasma. Okay. So, and I've had other shots in the videos today showing you some close-up shots that we do have shots that have gotten closer because if they can shoot this far out and then as you see there's other stars that illuminate onto its atmosphere okay uh, it'd be interesting if NASA starts sharing some of the stars that glimmer off the Earth's atmosphere or if we have a plasma field that is totally different than everybody else's and that the stars don't glimmer off our outside atmosphere Okay, when you get certain shots of sunlight, i.e., we'll move over to the left, and the reason that you see those stars is because that's the would be considered uh, Alpha Centauri BB's east side, which probably is its west side because, well, it's hard to tell. Our east side, but you would think that their west side rotates towards the sun if it even rotates but it should rotate and if it doesn't then they have a dark side which would be a very interesting you know but it does show that it has an atmosphere because the stars glimmer off of its atmosphere okay and i'm going to show you basically even the low atmosphere of the moon gets stars to glimmer off of it okay a little bit Okay, off the surface of it and some stuff like that. That's going to be the next video because in order to do the zooming in and the zooming out, now we're only at like 400 here, so 
we, or actually I'm at 9, 9.99. So when we zoom in on that, so I can just basically zoom in and get our stars all the way up to 16 and go around and look at the stars around the side of the atmosphere of and then what we'll do is we'll pop out and I'll keep popping out I guess boom, 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 boom. there we go okay and then what we'll do is we'll move over and look at some of the stars that are out and we'll come down along the the umbra halo silhouette of that Rigel supergiant star sun okay and then we'll go over past there is the sun there that is our solar system that's what we rotate around and some of this stuff of today is a little bit repetitive but uh, it's just bleeding out to the view the factual that these are actual photos that are out there and that is Sol okay that is the Sun okay I'll glue in a little bit more that's SOL that's Sol that's the Sun okay that is the Sun right there okay yes there's other Sun stars out in the Milky Way galaxy that are magnetically connected to it okay I'm what we're doing is blowing out in looking at the biggest star sun okay if star is a sun we can get us back down to 400 real fast because it seems like someone's a little upset that the idea that we're bleeding out the truth because why does my software all of a sudden go kookoo when we're showing you the truth okay and that's jupiter and we'll zoom in on jupiter okay uh, we'll back. We'll get back up at, at 9.99. We'll go to 400 first. Okay, and that is the sun, and there is Jupiter over there. And we'll glue in on Jupiter. And remember, Jupiter is smaller than the sun, so the, the truth bleeds to you right here, just looking at this far away. Okay, and now if we we go ahead and we come back down to like 200, and we'll even go to like that, and you can see that this is an actual photo. So folks, basically back that up, and that's footage basically I've had a lot of people send me stuff because, now that's Pan Stars there uh, recently. You can go to Space Weather, and they had that highlighted there, and all the credits to whoever that there. There's not really that much. I mean, it's anybody can go out there and get that shot, anything like that. Not that exact shot, but we thank whoever that person is. You can go to spaceweather.com, and basically that person's name is there, so forth and so on. Uh, this is NASA, this is your tax dollars. This is highly possibly probably Earth down here still flaring there recently on the 8th. This is the most fresh that you can get for Sechi. Uh, remember the actual factual that we showed you uh, this yesterday. And I don't have the magnifier out right now, but you watch watched the video that I showed you and you got that down there. You can't open up a QuickTime player on it today. Uh, this is ahead. The recent shot, as you can see, it's shooting pretty clear. For some reason, it must just be this static electricity of, uh, I will show you, uh, this is the recent uh, from B, okay, Earth, and everything like that. Now this is, I've got it frozen, you can see some energy, big time, that's, you can see the super giants are, it makes you realize that the super giants are out there, because that's not the sun doing that, and I'll bring that back again, you see, that's not coming off the sun. There is a little bit of a connection. When I step it, you'll see that the idea that, and I'll come back, you'll see that there is possibility that a little bit of this could be coming off the sun or connection, but no matter what, it's probably coming from something way out in space. As I basically will step again, and you'll see that go away. And that's not just the sun doing that. That's coming in from outer space from another huge, more than likely something in the supergiants, okay? So basically, then I can hit play on that. That's first, and that's from B behind. I think most people in here, every once in a while, I'll throw the maps in and stuff like that. And there is Pan Stars down there, like we had that yesterday. And then today, I ba I, I, I guess basically, uh, and like I said, that was the most recent from ahead. And you know, that we know that what Earth is and everything on the, these shots. 
and I guess did I have because today I guess there must have been the CME action so bad that they did the and it's plausible up here about that and then it's down here but we get a pretty crappy picture today but we still have our objects we'll get our magnifier lens out and get a good look because Mercury's along this line and then you can go to what we've got for Sechi footage here from B okay remember this is earth down here flashing off of it off of the a shot okay and I can just pop up real fast we'll get to 400 look over at the border and you'll pretty much realize that that's earth down there or we have something even more that we have found because that's farther away from the Sun and it's not the object that we're going to show you and zoom in on a little bit here and you can see it our electrical magnetical making our electrical magnetic static connection with the dust the solar radioactive sunlight dust coming off of uh, CME action off of the Sun okay so we're gonna pop in and get our, our uh, magnifier out on our action that we have from NASA never makes and plays psychological games with photos to make them you see this is what they've been they played games in the past and then they zoom in and they get they have good clarity well we improved over time yeah they've improved real good and we know the the years and the time frames and stuff like that so they always play psychological BS with what they know about and what they actually can see out in space ladies and gentlemen so there's some actual facts really for you. That's one of those faces that are supposed to be up on Mars, which is a bunch of crap because that's it. Better clarity over there. So they focus in and keep you mesmerized, hit, hypnotized with BS. Okay. So, because this is real, folks, and I'll basically show you exactly. You know, this is beyond our Milky Way galaxy. That's the colored stars that you get over in Hawaii that bleed through the cracks in the Milky Way galaxy. They don't really tell you, they always say that's the Milky Way galaxy, but this is how you see through the Milky Way galaxy, through the cracks and crevices of the Milky Way galaxy, and what, what that Earth is in. Okay, so, and yes, our satellites are awesome because this is an actual photo from out in space, ladies and gentlemen, and as you can see the stars, even though it might be a little bit of blurry, and thank God for HD, because then we can give you the actual facts, and this is actually a photo, and we will... Bino will bleed you the truth. That is the Milky Way galaxy from the top. Okay? And if you if I'm wrong, it's from the bottom of the Milky Way galaxy. And we can also see it from the side and so forth and so on. Now they do have actual fact that galaxies are magnetically connected to other galaxies, i.e. And then also that when you see a dark star out in space, the magnetical line spinature, light curvature that you get okay is basically this and this is what you're seeing in Hawaii okay you're actually getting that okay and then that ends up looking somewhat like this in the sky and don't let it confuse you with a galaxy but it looks like this in our atmosphere okay so the actual that when you're out in space and that's the Hubble telescope's eye right there okay and you can see the uh, how that up through this is Milky Way galaxy is just a bunch of basically dust particles but yes we earth is a gigantic dust particle okay and basically that's the Milky Way galaxy but as you can get through there are slits to get through to the outer side of our Milky Way galaxy and ie they look at the supergiant suns stars laser they alignment get connected to them through the Milky Way and those are our 25 star systems that are close to us and there's another eye look through the Milky Way galaxy out into a solar system okay out there and then the solar system Alpha Centauri that I've been showing you constantly and then basically as you see that it's basically in one of those slits in the Milky Way galaxy to be able to observe it pretty good okay so we do get light energy down here and they do pop in and we've got some good angles of them getting through the Milky Way galaxy slits right now those supergiant stars that are not in the Milky Way galaxy but there are some that are in ie actually the Sun is part of the supergiants okay so Alpha Centauri there bleeding through and we're seeing that at the Alaska footage all that Alaska footage that I was showing you that is remarkable and this is a time lapse from Earth and yes spiral all the stars spiral in the Milky Way galaxy that I have showed you that shot back up the video to the Milky Way galaxy and I'll show you the direction that we follow the Sun 
okay, as we rotate to the east, to the sun, to it, which is a star, just like all these stars here that rotate around like that in the Milky Way galaxy. The sun's not going to fall out of the Milky Way galaxy.